it's Mosquito against Divino to edge Brazil in front steps up and just does enough advantage Brazil keeper got a hand to it but not enough to prevent it finding the back of the net and Mosquito has done his job one out of five what of Mexico's response Alejandro Diaz is their player to bring them level went for power and crashed it home didn't display any nerves at all struck with real power so the player who's late equaliser set up this penalty drama he scored five times in these FIFA World Cup finals it's Nathan to restore Brazil's lead with their second penalty kick and again able to squeeze that beyond Godino Relieved, just relieved. So, so far, it's a hundred percent record. Even Ochoa, whose goal, of course, had given Mexico the lead in normal time. And again, Marcos knew that was close, but it's job done. It's level at 2 2. Well, both keepers have got desperately close. Lucas, Brazil's captain, will be next. Can he maintain the momentum and put Brazil back in front once again? The captain with their third penalty kick and beautifully done. Calmness personified and a really well taken penalty kick by Lucas getting to the stage where any miss is costly but when Brazil are three to up there is no margin for error And Marcos saves. The captain is foiled. The penalty struck well enough. Marcos gets right. And Rivas is kept out. Advantage very much with the Brazilians. What a huge moment now. They are 3-2 in front. It's a 100% record. 
could this be the moment for Brazil to underline their superiority? They have done just that. It is the moment for Danilo to push them ever closer to a World Cup semi-final. This has to go in. Coolly dispatched in the end. Aguirre with, under that sort of pressure, a really well-struck penalty. Can send them through to a World Cup semi-final. Gabriel with the responsibility. Godinho has to save it. This the moment for Brazil. And it's been kept out. It's been saved by Godinho. And Gabriel, who was widely touted, has failed to deliver from the spot. It was the moment for Brazil. And it's not been taken. Ubias. Salomon Ubias for Mexico. What a coolly taken penalty. Well, to keep his side in a World Cup quarter final. Some would go for power and pace. Shaky, dinked penalty kick. And the drama intensifies. Leo Pereira's turn to step up, they've gone through the five allotted penalty takers, have Brazil four penalties each that they have successfully converted one they've missed, Pereira for Brazil, smashes it home ups the ante and turns the pressure back on Mexico Marco Granados. The substitute. Knows that he must score. Does just that. Granados successful from the spot Thiago Maia next for Brazil well they looked as if they were on their way through to a semi-final. They may still be. Maya under pressure. Finds the intended target. So the advantage 
swings the way of Brazil once again. Christian Tova. Can he make the most of the opportunity? Yes, he can. Another substitute, Christian Tova. Keeps Mexico in this World Cup quarter-final. And still we continue. Joe Anderson. His chances have come from the bench. A substitute surely didn't expect to be in this situation. Brazil have always maintained the pressure on their Mexican opponents. What can the substitute do from the spot? No problems at all for Brazil's number 19. Again, a very composed finish. Just up the pressure a little bit more. Jose Robles, the latest player to attempt to keep Mexico in this World Cup. Robles, Marcos stands on his line. He has to score. There have been some excellent penalties, there really have. And Robles, the latest. Eduardo will be next up for Brazil. Solid and dependable throughout this tournament. It's been a case of Brazil leading and then Mexico, every spot kick. They've tied it up. They've leveled things up. Responsibility with Eduardo. Brazil's latest penalty taker. Applause. A look to the heavens. And yet again, Mexico have to find a penalty taker to keep them in this competition. Omar Gouveia. So, Gouveia knows what he has to do. Marcos waits on the goal line. Another wonderfully executed spot kick from the Mexican midfielder. Well, this has been one of the more dramatic penalty shootouts when it comes down to a goalkeeper. Marcos against Godinho for Brazil. Well, he may be a goalkeeper. But when asked to take a penalty kick, he steps up and nestles that spot kick in the bottom corner. Now the turn of Petro Terran. There is no margin for error. Mexico have come back time and again. Pedro Terran up against Marcos for Mexico and scores. And still we keep going. Auro will 
be the next to take a penalty. There's just nothing to separate these teams. Pressure situation. Well, this fullback has an outstanding World Cup. Arrow then for Brazil. It's been one of the players of the tournament. Taking his time to place the ball. Steps back. And now the moment for him to deliver and keep the momentum with Brazil. Well, that's what it means. He's hurt himself in the process. As if we don't have enough drama, Brazilian player down inside the area. Be lifted and carried off. But Brazil keep the pressure on their Mexican opponents. And the weight and the halt can hardly help. Took an age to take it and in the end put it away and then pulled up in pain. Now it's the turn of Raul Godino. Keeper against keeper. Godinho against Marcos in goal for Brazil. To keep Mexico in this FIFA Under-17 World Cup. Godino, another successful spot kick. Round we go again. Well, from the moment Rivas, the Mexican captain, missed, the signs were that Brazil were on their way through. But Mexico has shown tremendous determination to get back into this. And it's Mosquito with this latest Brazilian spot kick. Mosquito, it's saved! And suddenly the advantage is very much with Mexico. Keeper guess the right way, Gudinho makes the save. And the three times world champions could be on their way out of this World Cup. The defending champions are Mexico. Alejandro Diaz. He was outstanding in their round of 16 game against Italy. This is the moment that he has been waiting for. Mexico's number nine scores to send them through to the last four in dramatic scenes in Dubai. What an extraordinary penalty shootout. And Brazil, one of the pre-tournament favourites, are out 